Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was watching one of my videos where I did a Greek pattern around the circle and asked if we could do it on the oval. And the answer is kind of yes and kind of no. It doesn't look as good, but it can be done. And especially done very easily if you have 2019 and above Corel, because it's got a place called Object to Path. Now, I just, I have had one of these drawn before, but I just, took a pattern off the internet. I need to clean it up real quick, and I'm gonna show tell you why. Uh, we I need to put these nodes in the corner and get, let up, get rid of the other nodes. And I'm not gonna take a lot of time to um, worry about a lot of things here, but we need to get these kind of in the, and we're gonna align them so it doesn't really matter. And But I'm gonna get rid of the inner nodes because I'm gonna turn them all into a line so I'm just getting rid of some of the nodes that we do not need and uh, that are gonna give us trouble. And I think I did it. And now we need to go, well, there's one more, couple more. And I'm gonna select the whole thing. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna convert them to lines. Now you can see, and then there's a the one that we didn't get. Now we can go here, go to object and align horizontally. Align horizontally. Align vertically. You know what, I wonder if we could do all four of these at the same time. I don't think so. I think it's gonna cause us problems. Yep, because it's trying to align them all. So just grab those two, go up to your line, align vertically. And in the, one of these videos, I'm gonna show how to make a hotkey where you could do this it's a lot easier, but that's in, gonna be another video. So horizontally and vertically, you just, cause you have to keep going back and forth. But let's say for the video that that's good enough. I'm gonna do one more vertically. And I guess if you did all your verticals once, and then you could always bring down an indexing line and see how good you are. So we're good enough for the video. Let's do this. Let's do this corner. It's a little bit off. Okay, we're done. Now, if you have 2019 and above, you have an object called text or object of path. So, and for some reason to make this work, you have to invert this one. So we're gonna flip it upside down. Now, with it selected, I'm going to hit the shift key and double shift, shift select the, our object. I'm going to go to object, fit text to path. I'm going to make 20 copies. And I'm going to call that pretty good. I'm going to look at the lower ones. The lower ones are still touching. So that's good. Let's back up here. The, the, inner, the top ones are a little bit close. So what we can do, and, and you just have to play around with this, is take these two nodes and just extend them out just a little bit. You only have to do one of them. And now we can take away and only do 18, let's say, and see what happens. We want them to touch. So shift select the object or the path. And as long as we're still touching, I think we're good to go. Now take away our path. And that was also, I could have changed my object of origin and had it, I might have to make another video on that. But grab them all and weld them. Now you might have to tweak this if you want it to look perfect. You know, the side ones look good. There's a little crack right there. But what you could do is delete that node. Matter of fact, just kind of back up and we can do all that very easily. And you're gonna see it's kind of turning the line to a curve. So let's do some of the top ones. I'm not gonna do them all for the video, but delete that and delete these two, delete that one, delete that one. And you can see how it's kind of making them funnily shaped. But once you get them don't, don't do that. Once you get them selected and taken out, and I'm not gonna do all the way around, but let's take the shape tool and select it all. 
right click and turn them into a line. Now the top ones are gonna look funny and you could play around with that. You know, I must have missed a node right there and I did. Um, you know, so if you did that all the way around, you could actually probably bring this down, you know, or whatever you wanted to do. But the side ones look good. It's just a little different because it's it's totally opposite. You can't, in that other video I did with the curve, it was so easy because it just flowed around where this is an oval, so these are gonna be further apart than the other ones. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.